Mary, when I heard that you were the first woman to win the Innovator Award for the American Glaucoma Society, frankly, I only wondered to myself, why did it take so long? Throughout her career, Dr. Mary Lynch has made many innovative contributions to glaucoma. She was Phi Beta Kappa at Johns Hopkins and then stayed at Hopkins all the way through medical school, internship, residency, and fellowship. An OSLA internship was incredibly stressful back then. A ton of work and a bunch of chaos. Despite that, Mary would get in, finish her work before anyone else did, and then go around and offer people assistance. So that's Mary in a, in a nutshell. It was during her fellowship under Irv Pollock that Dr. Lynch made her first major innovation. Her 1986 paper was the first to describe what has become the definitive surgical treatment for malignant glaucoma, a posterior vitrectomy that makes the eye unicameral. It is still the treatment used today. Just two years later, Dr. Lynch was the first to describe the central nervous system side effects of beta blocker eye drops in this paper from 1988. The work was highlighted on CNN and is not fake news. The side effects of drops can spread far beyond the eye, though, affecting the lungs, heart, and other organs. Some of the drugs even cause central nervous system side effects like depression and sexual dysfunction. And these are things that are not as well known, but they certainly do occur. The discovery of the systemic risks of eye drops led to her work to develop smaller eye drops by reducing the dimensions of the dropper tip. It's possible to reduce the overflow by making droppers that drop smaller drops. But the researchers say manufacturers have shown little interest in making new droppers. Dr. Lynch was always interested in pediatric glaucoma. She built on the pioneering work of Dr. Ron Fellman and developed the 360-degree suture trabeculotomy. By opening 360 degrees, the success rate for a single operation increased to 90% versus 50% with a conventional surgery. It allowed babies born like this to have a single operation and grow up with normal vision. See the technique that allows children to undergo one surgery instead of three. It means less pain for them, less worry for you. Simone suffered from congenital glaucoma, a disease where the drainage canal in the eye doesn't develop properly. Yes, every time you operate on a child, you have to do it under general anesthesia with all the risks of general anesthesia. Now there's an alternative. It's still surgery, but it uses a stiff suture instead of these traditional metal probes. The big advantages are that you can do the entire procedure in one sitting with one anesthetic. During surgery, a suture is threaded through the drainage canal and the ends are pulled tight. That pulls the canal into proper position so fluid can drain from the eye. For Simone, it's been a huge success. It's just like 100%, it's like a turnover completely. Her not bumping into things anymore, her noticing everything. Today, Simone's vision is almost back to normal. The threat of blindness is nowhere in sight. This baby was blind in one eye after several unsuccessful surgeries. His father was an orthopedic surgeon from Chicago who brought him to Atlanta because he had heard that Dr. Lynch's new operation would give him the best chance to save his son's only eye. The boy underwent successful surgery and went on to become an all-state lacrosse player. Across the world, there are many more stories just like this one. In 1999, Dr. Lynch invented the eye pass in collaboration with her husband, Dr. Ray Brown. This was the first trabecular bypass device. The eye pass shunted aqueous from the anterior chamber down both sides of Schlem's canal. The IPAS went through three FDA studies, but was abandoned during the pivotal trial due to financial issues affecting the sponsoring company. But as part of this project, Dr. Lynch and Dr. Brown developed a portfolio of more than 25 patents. These patents became the foundation for elements of the eye stent, the hydrus, and many other implants. When IPAS was developed, MIGS was not even a concept and there was no investment in glaucoma surgery. But now, the success of iStent, Hydrus, and other devices has led to more than $3 billion being invested in MIGS. Sadly, in 2006, the family lost their eldest daughter, Madeline. In response to this tragedy, 
Dr. Lynch started the Madeline Jude Brown Foundation. The Aquatic Center at Emory University is named for Madeline, who was on the swim team there. Every year, the foundation awards a college scholarship to two students from a local Atlanta high school. The recipients have come from many diverse backgrounds and cultures, including Ethiopia, Afghanistan, India, Mexico, and China. Mary has been a great mentor to these students. Dr. Lynch is now applying her innovative spirit to the teleglaucoma treatment in the VA system and has received numerous awards. Dr. Lynch has three amazing sisters and has always been a dedicated mom with daughters Veronica and Annie and family friend Kathleen. The spark between Mary and Ray was first ignited as residents 35 years ago when, for the Wilmer skit, they pretended to be a husband and wife doctor pair performing surgery cheek to cheek. It was a match made in innovation heaven. The winner of the 2019 AGS Innovation Award, Dr. Mary Lynch. <laughs>